Okay, well today instead of working on cars, I'm going to do something a little different. This is uh, another part of my life. I'm a, a painter slash illustrator, storyboard artist, and uh, the project that I'm working on right now is a uh, cover for a comic book. Uh, this is the second issue of it. And um, I showed the, uh, the writer what I had in mind and he uh, has a few changes for me. So basically what we're doing is this little girl right here has a uh, kind of a brain thing inside of a, an amniotic sac for a head. It's a really interesting story. But anyway, uh, the changes that he asked for is to basically make this more brain-like so that would entail creating uh, that ridge right here that separate the lobes and maybe even uh, mess with the eyes a little bit, make her a little more menacing. So what we're doing right now is I'm just preparing my palette. I use acrylics and um, work on wood panel. This is um, just uh, this stay wet paper. It's kind of like butcher paper, has a kind of a waxy coating. And then there's a sponge underneath. It's soaked with water right now. Uh, actually, they're both soaking to, uh, to make it more pliable. Uh, all right. So what this will do is it'll keep the paint pliable and easy to mix for much longer. You know, I've had paints in here for uh, a couple of weeks at a time, as long as you put a lid over it or saran wrap. Okay, I just want to talk about some of the gear that I'm running for this uh, painting. I use, uh, like I said, mostly acrylics. Uh, these three right here are basically going to be for the, uh, the brain tissue itself. You know, this is a Titan Buff Payne's Gray, which is pretty much my go-to color for shading. I love this thing. It works really great on whites to, you know, put in depth into whites as well. And then uh, this is obviously for uh, you know for blood and uh, arteries. Uh, the Stalo Blue I'm gonna probably have to dilute down with either um, Payne's Gray or maybe the uh, mixing white. And then this is for uh, this is the uh, titanium uh, mixing white or transparent mixing white and sandalwood. That's going to be pretty much for this color right here. I, uh, I made this painting um, a couple of months back and lost my color recipe, so it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Uh, as far as brushes, um, I got my palette knife. I use mostly, actually I use pretty much exclusively flat brushes and then uh, my liner. This is, um, I think it's what, a Scepter. Well, I used to have a, a Scepter 001. It was really nice, but it's starting to fall apart. And of course, I uh, use um, a gloss medium for all of this. And last piece of equipment that I wanted to talk about was the uh, painting box over at art stores. You know, they can charge a hell of a lot for these wooden boxes with little compartments and things and I decided to take a more reasonable route and just run down to Sears. This is a three-door uh, Craftsman. It allows me to organize my paints, like all my warm colors, reds, yellows, you know, and then cool colors. And finally, you know, my neutrals and blacks. And then there's a big drawer uh, or pocket up top for my different mediums and things like that. And um, I think it came out to about $49 as compared to like the 89 or or whatever ridiculous things I have at uh, art supply stores. Okay, well as you can see I've been starting the, uh, the split right here of the hemispheres. Uh, it came out just a little too dark so I'm just trying to touch it up make it a little smoother of a transition. It's going to be kind of tricky to do with just one hand. 
I'm also just kind of going around and if I introduce this color throughout the brain it'll be uh, I guess a lot easier to believe that this was a, a conscious choice you know it won't look so much like a, a hatchet job there Yeah, that's one of the nice things about acrylics is that if you make a mistake, you can quickly just wipe it away, you know. I always use uh, gloss medium. I never use uh, water to, uh, to mix into my paints because water chemically reacts with the, uh, the adhesive quality of the paint. I mean, even though you can get kind of a nice wash, a uh, watercolor effect, still, it, I don't really like what it does. I'd rather use... Um, gloss medium or if I really needed to make a thin wash I go with um, acrylic flow uh, release that way I can also keep my glossy machine you can't really tell actually it looks way more blue in this video but in real life it has more of a gray quality to it yeah now i think i'm going to shift over and um integrate a little bit more and this uh, sandalwood. Right. Basically, these are kind of like little highlights that go in here. And that just looks too drawn on. I need to, need to work more on integrating it. But anyway, this is how it's going to go for. Probably another, another 30 minutes, maybe an hour. And then I'll get to uh, doing a little bit of highlighting. And, you know, try to bring out the surface of uh, the sack, you know, around here. Well, now I've gotten to the point where, uh, yeah, this is dark enough right here. Um, I think I'm going to start doing highlights. Basically, I'm taking the uh, sandalwood and uh, transparent mixing white and just touching up little areas. Um, yeah, it's, it's a horrible camera. I wish you could see what I see. But you can kind of see it. creating little bright spots well, in order to make this uh, this color right here I, I ran out of cadmium red light so I ended up having to use ethanol red light and cadmium orange and really water it down early did it out with a gloss medium and what I'm going to do is just touch it up a couple of little areas I don't want to get too much over the face or else it'll just cloud everything up I'm just doing uh, using the um, I guess what is this uh, about an inch wide flat brush doing very quick light strokes let's get Kind of a hint that something is covering the face. Whoa. Let's 
there. And then I'm gonna go through and use uh, my thin brush, my liner brush, and just use pretty much um, a pure white and create some little reflective highlights. Be a little brighter than that. Yeah, there you go. Mm. All right. Don't know if you can see all those. Yeah, maybe just a few more. And uh, we should be done. Right after this, all I need to do is get a, is approval from the writer. Then we'll um, cover it with uh, a layer of gloss medium. And then after that, I'll spray it with a, like a polyurethane, or like a final um, varnish to cover it and then send it off to the photographer. Well, I guess I'd just like to put in a little plug for myself. As I said, I'm a, uh, a painter, uh, illustrator, and I um, also do uh, storyboards for film and television. If you're interested in uh, contacting me about my services, just click on the links uh, on YouTube. And um, hopefully in a, in a little bit, We'll get to work on the Miata again and uh, do some AC work. Alright, stay tuned.